Hello everyone, we are going to do today's lesson on using TVM Solver, which is an application on let's say a TI-83 or TI-84, uh, using that application to solve for investments with regular payments. So here's our problem. Brian is saving up for a missions trip he'd like to do in three years. He is hoping to have $3,500. He puts away $100 each month in a savings account earning 4.2% per annum, so that's the annual interest rate, but it's compounded monthly. Will he have enough money in three years? Well, let's pull up our calculator, and we're going to put that into TVM Solver. So if you turn it on and go to Apps, which is right there, uh, first one that it gives me is finance and then the first one there is TVM solver uh, so um, let's take a look at uh, the information here for um, for questions that involve regular payments n is not the number of years n is going to be the number of payments okay um, other types of questions. If it's just um, a question involving compound interest, not with regular payments, then n is the number of years. But in this case, where there's regular payments, n is the number of payments. So it's three years, and it is uh, he's doing $100 each month. Okay, so that would make uh, 36 payments. Okay. Uh, I is the annual interest rate, which is 4.2, and it tells us to put it in as a percent, so not 0 0.042. PV, that stands for present value. So if he were dumping in, let's say, $2,000 into uh, an account, then we'd put negative 2000 because he's basically paying that money away, so it would be negative 2000 And again, on this kind of calculator, you would put that as like negative, not minus. Okay, negative. Um, in this question, though, he's not doing um, a lump sum into an account. He's doing a regular payment of $100 each month. So present value is going to stay at zero. And payment, PMT, that's going to be negative 100. Okay. Uh, FV stands for future value, and we don't know what that's going to be. We're hoping that he's going to get his $3,500. Uh, so we'll leave that at zero for now. Payments per year, he's doing every month. So that's going to be 12 per year. And compounds per year are also 12. Okay, it's compounded monthly. Now we're going to bring our cursor up to future value, which is what we're solving for. We'll hit alpha and enter, which is solve. And will it be $3,500? Whoa, 382950. Okay, so he will have 382950. So this is a good savings plan that Brian has, and we can figure that out with TVM Solver on a TI-82. Okay, so just to quickly recap, with regular payments, this is the number of payments, annual interest rate as a percent, so 4.2%, 4.2. He's not putting, uh, let's say, $2,000 into an account and seeing how much it's going to be worth in three years, so this is zero. Instead, what he's doing is he's putting regular payments in. Okay, and because He's giving that money away. This is negative uh, payments per year. He's doing it every month, so that's 12. Compounds per year is also 12 because it's compounded monthly. And then you put the cursor on future value. Go alpha, solve, and that gives you your answer. And that makes us very happy. See? There. I hope that helped. Thank you.